Hello and welcome to the start of this week's vlog. It's actually Sunday and I'm just editing, I've just finished editing and I'm just in the process of uploading the previous week's vlog of part two. Um, I'm just about to have a cup of tea and some Easter cakes. So these are what I'm having. They are mini eggs nest cakes. Don't they look lovely? So I'm gonna have one of those and because Matt doesn't like the little eggs on top, he's having some mini rolls. Just set up for painting. Uh, we've got a challenge. We've got to paint ourselves on a date somewhere on holiday. So we're going to use the bigger canvases, which we got there. Um, and we, I don't know what I'm going to paint yet. So we'll see how it goes. Mm. Okay, it's time to present your artwork. What are you calling your masterpiece? Year 7 art project. <laughs> no, it's um, under canvas. Yeah. Under, under canvas. Under canvas, because if you can't tell, this is a tent. Right. A little campfire. Okay, now let's show um, mine. Okay, so here is mine, and uh, by, by the way, the painting challenge was obviously to paint us on a date on a holiday. So we're in the tent in Matt's, and in mine, it's very much impressionist, abstract. It's it's us kissing on a date with a blue sky and a blue sea in the background. Ah. So I'm going to call it. Um, what should I call it? Passionate kiss. The passionate kiss. Lovely. There. Matt's decided to make last minute changes and he's um, added some birds. Yeah, there we go. And this is the tent that we're camping in. And obviously, oh, I'll give you a close up of mine as well. So just in case you, you couldn't see, it's still drying by the way. Now, I still think we should put our art pieces on eBay. Who would buy them? I have no idea. Yay, but well, we're going to cut the cake. I'm just doing some bowls. Uh, but it's already yum, cooked. Yum. We gave my mum and dad uh, a few pieces, so we're going to cut it now. How much would you like? Ooh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. yes. That much? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh. Oh. Ah, ah, it's tumbling. Look at that! Oh, yum yum yum! Isn't that gorgeous? Let's get something in. Uh, I reckon there we go. Oh, looks even bigger! Oh god! Ah. There we go! Yum 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 yum! yum, yum. Hi everybody and welcome to Monday. I'm only showing you from this side because that side is all bedhead. Well, actually this side is bedhead as well, but never mind. So as you can see, it's nice and sunny. We're in the garden, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. The cats are out. My mum's got her washing on the line. It's all flapping. And I'm going to take you just to go and see the seeds in the greenhouse. Okay, so there we have the washing flapping. So, um, obviously not much to see at the moment. They were only... Uh, planted yesterday, but they are still moist as you can see. I'll just stand back so you don't get the shadow in the way um, So I'm gonna keep them watered. I did see a very ominous cat footprint in my dirt when I came in Brian was here uh, Brian was up here, and then he ran off um, We still have the daffodils Nice and there and of course you can see a mat over there enjoying coffee in the garden um, so yeah. Oh, and also today I need to plant my sweet peas. I've got some sweet pea seeds, so they need planting too. Just showing you these lovely violas. These are the winter ones, uh, which eventually when we are able to get some bedding plants, they will have to come out. But there they are looking all nice and gorgeous. Um, it is very windy today. You can probably hear the wind from the camera, but it is very, very windy. The camellia, I think pretty much they are nearly all out now. Just looking really, really gorgeous. I'll just give you a really, really nice close up of the camellia. Um, we have a few more daffodils out in the garden. Here we have some over here. And of course, some more oof, more wild forget-me-nots. I haven't planted those, so they have come. Um, they have been naturally seeded, so they're really, really good. Um, so yeah, there should be a lot more happening as well over the, over the coming weeks in the garden. And that is my scene of the day. Shopping again. Okay, 
Okay, just showing you inside the supermarket, we have lines on the floor to show how far that we should be apart with the social distancing. Um, shelves are back to being stocked, including toilet paper. Ooh, um, more things, okay. Hey everyone, we are having some chili with some nachos. Matt's been cooking. We've got different rices. You had some, what was your rice? Savory. Savory. I had pilu. Something. Something I've got rice. Let's put it that way. Rory's just come in. Uh, Matt made some chili. Look at it bubbling away. Doesn't it look delicious? And we have some nachos in the oven, melting, looking all gorgeous. Hello, Rory. How are you? <gasps> Do you want some biscuits? Oh, biscuits for Rory. There we go. And here we have the nachos, looking all lovely and cheesy guacamole now you know what i'm like with avocados but i'm willing to give it a try i've never tried it quite like that and of course some sour cream as well so they look gorgeous don't they should i pinch one mm. oh let's do some food but oh now should i try it mm, let me just try that one. Ooh, hang on the cheese is going who oh, no. ah try it. yeah mm. And of course, as, as if the nachos weren't enough, <laughs> we have the chilli as well. Yay! It's night time. I'm in the bathroom and just look what's on the wall. Ugh, that's big and scary. <gasps> Hi, everybody. We are going to have some cake, cake. and some cream. But we're also going to break into our first Easter bunny. So I've taken off his little jingly bell. I might give that to the cats, I don't know. Uh, depending on if I think it's safe. But we need to work a way of getting the bunny into the bowls. And I'm thinking the only way to do it is just to break it. Hi everybody and look at the state of this bed weave, <laughs> my goodness, total bed head. It is Wednesday, I actually thought it was Tuesday a moment ago. So we are waiting in for some parcels. We well, are. I'm waiting for my bar cart to come. It was supposed to come yesterday, it came, but literally I missed it by three minutes, we couldn't hear the door. Um, you're, you've had problems with a game that yep. you've tried to order. It's now downloading and it's taken how long? Nearly two days. Nearly two full days. So you haven't got much luck there. You're also waiting for a new phone to come. Uh, but because your old phone's not good, we don't know when how we're going to get the notification of when it's coming. So it's all going on. So we've literally, we've, we've got to stay home today. We can't even go out for our permitted daily walk or anything because we've got to stay in for anything that might come. But I want to turn the camera around and show you the beautiful sunny garden. As you can see, it's lovely and sunny. Yay! So here we have the view today. Again, very, very sunny. The greenhouse is still clean. I need to sow my sweet pea seeds. But as you can hear, right up there in the tree, if I try and zoom in, I think it's either a robin or a blue tit or a finch or something. Making a lot of noise. Making a beautiful noise. Listen to that. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> oh. There we go, that is a really, really beautiful song. We've also actually seen some planes go overhead and there's actually, I've looked on my flight tracker app and there's actually more planes going over than what there were last week. So maybe they're starting to allow more air travel. I don't know, but there's certainly more planes in the sky according to my flight tracking app. One went over from New York to London. Now, where's Molly? I think Molly might actually be over here there she is. I see you, girl. How are you doing? In the beam of sunshine. Rory is around somewhere. Again, look at the gorgeous flowers. My roses are actually growing quite a lot. 
as you can see, we have Princess Anne, who of course is always ahead. She's ahead of all the others. I think she'll flower first again this year. Then we have William and Catherine in the middle. And then we have Anne Boleyn over here, who has quite a lot of new shoots on this side. So she, hopefully they'll flower within the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping. And we still have, obviously, the winter violas. Okay, so here is another aircraft going over. That one is actually Toronto to London. There we go, can you see it? Toronto to London, hello to you. Hello, Molly. Hello, sweetie, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, please excuse the bed hair again. So I've just had a phone call. Um, as I said, I missed my parcel twice because they didn't make me here because obviously the living room is at the rear of the house, uh, front door's obviously at the front. Um, so I've just had a call from the depot, from the delivery people, DPD, telling me that they've lost the bar cart. The package is now lost. So I've now got to contact the, the seller that I bought it from and find out what's going on. Oh my goodness, you couldn't write it. Hey everybody, it's Thursday morning. We've just come in the greenhouse to check the seeds. We are so excited, can you see it? Look, we have, we have a little seedling come through. I've been watering them every day. There it is, in case you can't see. Look, I mean, oh. I still haven't got any others, but I have been keeping them watered. I'm gonna give them a water in a moment. But yay, I'm so excited. We've, we've become dads. We we're, oh. we're the proud parents of a little seed. Plant dads. Oh. We are plant dads. We also have a butterfly. Look, Ooh, where is he? I'm trying to keep the camera. There he is, look. There. Oh, there's somebody trimming as well. <laughs> That's what you can hear, but look. Oh. Disturbance of the peace. May the power of Brenda compel thee. The cats are playing. Oh, look at that. Oh, Molly, you go, girl. Is that fun? Is that fun, sweeties? Rory, get it. Go on, Rory. <laughs> oh, this is literally just before bed. And the cats have got the zoomies. Oh, Molly, good girl. Hey, sweetie. Oh, I think Rory's going to get it. <laughs> Who's going to get it? <laughs> Molly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see? see it. Where the blue Ooh, yeah. is, where the blue is. Right, we're trying to film a bird in the sky. I don't know, we keep losing it. <laughs> we're trying to see whose zoom is better. Oh, I think I've just about got it. I don't know where it is. There. That's not helpful. <laughs> in the blue bit, in between all the clouds. That, that's it. So we're in the greenhouse and I didn't realise, but actually, Brian was asleep in the basket all along. And I didn't know. So there he is in the basket. And Rory has just come in sniffing. And I think Rory has just seen Brian, but he, he wants to go out and play. Brian's in his basket. Um, the seeds, I, look, I think there's another one coming through there. Let me just put it on the normal camera. There we go. I think there's another one coming there. We obviously we've got the one there. So I need to give these a water. Um, still need to plant my sweet peas. And my mum's basil is, uh, I'm still keeping that watered. And we have a beautiful Molly. Hello, girl. Hey, I think we have a visitor, don't we, Mr. Brian? We do. Hello, sweetie. Have you come in? Come 
Brian. Come on, Brian. Hello. You're going to bolt in a minute, aren't you, over the door? <laughs> Come on, sweetie. Come on, you. Hey. What happens if I just come and sit down like me? Oh, Brian's off. He's on the stable door. Off to Mr. Bry Guy. Yeah, you are. Bye, Brian. Bye, boo. Hey, all. It's Saturday. Just got back from shopping. We have got some Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings because we love them. We have a, well, a different one. We're going to try a takeaway fully loaded fiery chicken pizza. So we'll try that in a moment. We have some steam veg, two bags of those, some Aunt Bessie's uh, roast potatoes. We've got some chips and we've got some of Molly's cat food. So I'm going to send that bag down the other end now to go in the freezer. Then in this bag, we have two packs of crumpets, but I actually think I'm probably going to freeze one of those. We have some Warburton Thins, some Angel Delight. I know I've not had this in years, but we just fancied something different. Uh, again, we have our milks. I actually found the real um, vegetable oil because they hadn't got any vegetable oil the last time I went. I got some polish. Now, I do like Mr. Sheen multi-surface. It's really good for mirrors. We are going to bake another cake. Of course, we've got the milk. We've got some goujons, um, my yogurts, and some tins of organic chopped tomatoes. Oh, and eggs as well. They're, those are the eggs. All right, so in the other bag, we have some Sweden mash, some mashed potatoes, some luxury coleslaw, Mediterranean mixed veg, some cream, some sour cream, mini rolls, some tortilla chips, some crisps, mayonnaise. We also have a pie and some um, hearts of romaine, some chicken, some sausages, gravy, whipping cream, cheese, and ground cumin. So all in all, it was quite a big shop. So we've got, let's just, let's just put it all away. <laughs> Look, ah. just about to have dinner. We have some chips. We have some onion rings. We have some veg. We have some chicken goujons. I've got some tomato sauce with, with the goujons. And I like mayonnaise with the onion rings. Molly is surveying the scene and looking at our gorgeous artwork. And we're about to watch um, episode six of Safe on Netflix, which we are really enjoying. So let's eat and watch some telly. Hello and welcome to our Sunday morning coffee. We've been listening to the wind chime and looking at birds. Can you see the pigeon? There's a pigeon right there. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see him. Um, I don't know, there's a pair of them. I'm not sure if they are looking for nest sites or I don't know, but they've, they've been kind of circulating around that spot in the tree for a while so I don't know what they're up to but I'm hoping you can see that one uh, but yeah it's a nice sunny day again and we're in the garden the cats have been out we have a few things to do today oh more bed head again so we have a few things to do today I want to put up the bar cart I need to plant my sweet peas what else do we need to do bake a cake bake a cake so there's a few things coming up in in the vlog even though it's sunday then i need to edit vlog so that it could go out for monday so busy busy just going to feed my roses i always do this once per week we have come in and we are going to make a different coffee we what's it called dalgona coffee it's a big thing in korea apparently okay and that's like a it's a milk it's milk based with like a coffee topping so I've got out my um, glass cup, so, we, so it looks all nice. So what's gone in there now? So it's two tablespoons of coffee. Any coffee. Yep. Yeah. Two okay. tablespoons of sugar. Yeah. And two tablespoons of boiling water. Okay. And we are using the hand whisk. Yep. <laughs> so you've got to whisk it until it becomes a big, frothy mousse. A big, frothy mousse. Like whipping get that cream. Thing. Like whipping cream. Okay. Yeah. So we'll keep on whisking. Yeah, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so I've just put 800 milliliters for, for two cups in here. Well, actually, what I did was I just filled the regular cups that's going to go into about three quarters and then tipped two of those in there to get the right amount. So I'm going to put, put it on heat now. 
just to get it warm, uh, because I think it's thickening up, isn't it? It is slowly. Slowly, so we'll keep whisking, and I'll heat a bit, and try and keep it at a good temperature. So we're now pouring them the hot, warm, well, hot or warm milk, however, whatever temperature you want to do it. There we go. It's going in. There we go. And then you put the coffee stuff on the top. Yeah. That's the idea of it. Right, so we're using a big spoon and we're going to just pop the coffee stuff on the top. No, I can do with that other spoon just there. Now, in the picture we saw on Instagram, was, was there quite a lot of coffee? Yes. Right, so do you reckon we've made enough? Um, I, we followed it to the recipe, so... Mm. So I would probably say, maybe add more of the coffee stuff. You could almost do like double, couldn't you? Yeah. So I would probably say do, do more like double, so that it's kind of heaped up to the top. We might not have enough of the coffee stuff. No. But now we know for the future. Yeah, so we can try it again. Um, but yeah, that's kind of white light, but the coffee bit's supposed to be quite heaped. Well, from the picture I saw anyway. Yeah. There we go, and then that kind of like melts in, so you get the idea. I think we're still going to get the same effect, but it just doesn't have the, quite the look. No, that was, after. that was in the photo. But then again, what does turn out like the photo? <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, there we go. Yeah, please share in the comments your experiences of things that you tried that didn't turn out like the photo. <laughs> I bet you have some horror stories. But no, this is not a horror story. This is good. Because yeah. the coffee kind of like sinks in, doesn't it, I think? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Apparently all the rage in Korea. Not the North. Not the North, no. No. Okay, so our evaluation is we need to probably do double the froth, but you get the idea, can you see? Right, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and take some fancy Instagram photos. Yes. Oh, okay guys, do you know what? I take it back. I think we actually did the right amount because look, it's kind of melting into the milk. The milk has kind of turned a bit of a coffee colour. I actually think we've done the right amount. Yeah. I think it's actually turned out really, really good, look. So there we go, we're in the garden and we're going to enjoy them, yay. Hey all, there is no other purpose to me showing you myself other than to show you that I have not actually got bed hair. I want you to see me at least once in this vlog without bed hair. Same. There we go, can you just <laughs> admire the hair? Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. So we're gonna make some cake. Yes, we are. Hi everybody, we are making our cake and we are making the Cabaret sponge mix again. Three eggs, 100 millilitres of vegetable oil, two greased or greased proof lined trays, which we have over there, 160 millilitres of semi skimmed milk, and a hand whisk. So we're going to get going with that into the bowl. There we go, mixture in the bowl. Now, right, 160 going, I can't actually see that. <laughs> oh god, I can't actually see. Where's 160? It's somewhere there. Right, hang on. There. Okay, that's 160 of milk. Then we need what? Then we need 100 ml of vegetable oil. Okay, this is the proper vegetable oil this time, not rapeseed or whatever else we have. I've got to open it. Okay, so that should take it to 260, shouldn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I reckon about that. There we go. So I could not see a thing. And then we need three eggs. Three eggs. So let me just take to put the eggs on. Eggs. One. Expertly done. Two. I hope I didn't get any shallow. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice whisk, whisky, whiskey, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey time. 
We are whisking. Looks great. <laughs> this does all look a bit better than that. But it has to be done. I'm using the Victorian hand twist again. Again. Oh, no? Yeah. No. Okay, well, that is whisk. So. There we go. Let's pop this over here just for a second. Okay. And then it goes in to the bowl. And you can add a little bit at a time if you really want to. But I don't really think it makes much difference. No. And then obviously just whisk it up. Whisk it, whisk it. Hey all, so we, thought, we actually found an example about why in the UK we do not have to put our eggs in the fridge. Look, that is dun, a bit dun, dun. of... Well, it's proof that the eggs are not washed in the UK. We do not wash our eggshell because that is obviously a little bit of mess left over from, from when the egg was laid so there we go proof that we do not wash our eggs here in the uk so they do not have to be refrigerated i'm now going to pour the mixture which has been mixed into a oh by the way that that's not lumps that is fudge pieces so i'm now going to pour it in i'm going to try and do half equally per tin so let's give that a bit of a rest and then go to the other tin quickly before it all splodges Okay, so that's had a bit more in that one. Let's go back to the other one and give that one a bit going over. And then we'll have to get the wooden spoon to get the last of it out. Okay, so they have just gone in the oven at 160 and they will stay there for the next 20 minutes. Okay, we are finally, well Matt has been unboxing the bar cart and it's all in bits, so we've got to self-assembly. Um, I had it from Wayfair, which is an online furniture, home furnishing store. It looks really, really cool. It's silver, it's exactly what I wanted and we're gonna put it up now. If you can hear any noise in the background, by the way, that's my tumble dryer. We all have to dry clothes, don't we? Here are the instructions that we have to follow. I just thought I'd show you. So that's what it should look like. Well, it will look like that when we're finished. Um, so we've got the mirror top and the glass top over there. Uh, but yeah, we, we just, we, we've checked we've got all the bits and then we're gonna start putting it up. So I will do a time lapse. So I've just put a fleece down because I'm worried about obviously the tile floor scratching any of the metal. So we're, we're gonna set it up on here so that it's all nice and padded. There'll be no scratches. Which obviously, if I get a scratch, that will upset me. That will be my thorn of the day. There we are, we did it! Yay! We put together the most gayest item ever! Ooh. A hostess trolley, bar no. car, mirror. Oh, can, I, can I get a look at that reflection, Hi. baby? Woohoo! We have a glass top. She has a glass top. She, she has a mirrored wheelies. bottom. She can do wheelies. She is everything. Yeah. Oh, right, so I'm gonna go clean her up because I don't want any handprints on the mirror. No. Or any, like I, like I have to remove the tempered glass sticker that needs cleaning up. Um, but once it's clean, we can put it in situ and I can stock her up with her wares. What do you think we should have on her? Hmm. Girl, does she not have the most perfect shine? So I have used, and actually I will say that I really do like Mr. Sheen, multi-surface polish, spring fresh, does wood, glass, metal, plastic, everything, and is by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, and if it's good enough for the Queen's ornaments, it's good enough for me. <laughs> so look, isn't that beautiful? Look at the shine, look at the sheen. Shining, shimmering, splendid! Yay, look, so I'm not loving the lamp up there. That 
needs altering and i'm going to put a tea service on the top but look at the bottom isn't that gorgeous we have our baileys we have tanqueray we have gin we have creme de cassis creme de cassis rather we have indian tonic water a selection of christmas gins and of course a bottle of celebratory prosecco and of course the queen queen brenda is looking to make sure that nobody overindulges Okay, everyone, I have made additions and changes. <laughs> okay, I do have, just so you know, I have got the full set of the brandy glasses, the sherry glasses, and of course, those are the Dartington Crystal Champagne Flutes. Uh, I also have the full set of four of, of the wine glasses. But look, I think it looks nice with those on, because there's only the two of us. I just thought we'd just put out the two. Um, there we go. Aren't they gorgeous? I think so. But yeah, this light definitely needs changing. I do not like it. Um, so something will be done there. I am brewing a cup of tea with a beautiful Yorkshire tea tea bag. Um, and here is the cake. Now, we've, I think we've decided this one's going to be the bottom. And this one's going to be the top so that you won't see the crack with the frosting. Now, Hello, Miss Favour out there, girl. I saw your cake in a mug. It looked delicious, by the way. Uh, but yeah, no, we, we enjoyed our cake so much that we decided we had to make another one. Hello, do I have a Brian stealing the food, caught red-handed? <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Look, you know, don't you, that Molly doesn't like it. I know. But you just ran straight past me. <laughs> And looked at me as if to say, hmm, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Look, I like you. You're a lovely cat. But you can't keep coming in and eating their food. You've got your own bowl. You've got your own house with your own food. Okay. So what you need to do is say sorry and apologise and then you can go about your business. Can't you, sir? I think you can. It's nice we can have these little conversations, isn't it? You know, man to man. So, I think you need to be on your way. Right, if I come round here, then that will allow you to go be on your way, won't it? There we go. Yeah, we've just iced the cake. Look at that gorgina piece of cake right there. That was, I've actually put it on a smaller... Uh, plate today, but just look at that. Mm, doesn't that look gorgeous? Let's go and display it on the bar cart. Oh, anything from the trolley? Oh, look at look how gorgeous that looks. Mm. Oh, that doesn't doesn't that look divine, divine, darling? Mm. So, guess what we're having for pudding tonight? Yes, that's what our dessert is. Right, so I am going to go and close out this week's vlog. By the way, I did not, I know I said it all the way through the vlog that I was going to do my sweet pea seeds. I still haven't done them. I will do that tomorrow, Monday. So that will be in the next vlog. So thank you so, so much for staying with us for another weekly vlog. Again, I hope you are safe wherever you are. And of course, following your own government's guidelines and advice. So if you have enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. Also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So from us in Shropshire, mwah, to you all and goodbye. Hi there, sir. Would you like any salted nuts? Hi there, madam. Hot towel. Hi there, sir. Would you like a hot beverage?